And so most of the uh, Newton's law problems in two dimensions can be solved most easily using components. Here's a classic example where we have two people pushing a crate and the crate is uh, moving, it's accelerating in a particular direction. Person one, this is all happening on ice, so friction is nothing. Pushing with 200 Newtons uh, west, 60 degrees to the north. Person two is also pushing the crate, but we're not told uh, how much or what direction. Crate has a mass of 50 kilograms and it's accelerating at two meters per second north. So the third part of this expression is actually telling us what the sum of the forces are because Newton's second law also applies in two dimensions. And so the sum of the forces is going to be equal to 50 kilograms times two meters a second squared or in other words, we have 100 newtons of force in the north direction. That's going to be the sum of all of our forces. When we're dealing with forces and components, I recommend that you use one of these uh, tables. For this problem, we're going to take north as positive and we're going to take west as positive as well. And so uh, the first person is actually pushing on an angle. And so we'll try and figure out what the components of that force are. And so this is a 60 degree angle. This is 200 Newtons here on my hypotenuse. So I happen to notice that I love this 30, 60, 90 triangle because uh, the cosine here is 100 Newtons and the sine it's going to be 0 0.8660 times 100 times 2, so it's going to be 173 newtons. And so my westerly component is 100 newtons. My northerly component is 173 newtons. So I've got my F1s all figured out. I don't know my F2s. Uh, that's going to be the problem probably. And I also know the sum of the forces and so to the north the sum is actually adding up to 100 newtons and there is nothing happening to the west. 173 plus something is 100 newtons and so this is actually going to have to be 73 newtons, negative 73 newtons north or 73 newtons south and this is actually going to have to be negative 100 newtons north or in other words 100 newtons south to give me my result of zero newtons. And so this second person's force I have figured out the components now it's just a matter of reconstructing the triangle to find out what the magnitude of the force is and the direction and so this is going to be 73 south and it's going to be 100 to the west. And look at this. This, this person is in a very contrary manner uh, pushing almost opposite the other person. I can use my Pythagorean theorem. To figure out the magnitude. Obviously, I can use an inverse trig function to figure out the direction. And so, once again, Newton's second law, break up all the forces into their components, unless you really like doing, uh, unless you really, really like doing uh, the cosine law or the sine law. Once you get it broken up into the components, you can figure out where they all go.